the hadith says, this is in Sahih al-Bukhari, which means this is a correct hadith, that Satan sleep in your nose. If you reject this hadith, you reject it, why? Can you dispute it? Can you refute it? Can you prove that this is false hadith? You're mine. Okay, righteousness. I mean, Christian, we have a agreement that you're not going to cut me off. You're going to let me talk what I... Okay, just, just, just because it's very clear that people are getting confused. I am Christian Prince. You are righteousness. Okay? So, don't, don't get dizzy from now. You saw nothing yet. Do you approve the hadith of Sahih al-Bukhari book or you don't approve it? You're mine. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm coming there. When Hazrat Muhammad said that Satan runs like blood running in your blood, what kind of meaning do you take out of that? Same kind of Satan, the meaning we make out of that hadith, you can make out of this hadith. So that was the question I put to you. What do you understand? I told you, are you deaf? The prophet, he said, the Satan can come to you in any shape, even in the shape of an angel. So any shape, it's mean he can even be, be, be blood. He can be a fish, he can be a chicken, any shape, even an angel, imagine. I answered you. This is about Satan, he can take any shape he wants. Your mind. Okay, this is your understanding coming with this shape or that shape. The understanding that I have is that it's the humans that are ever inclined toward evilness. And that Satan is within us. It pushes us, you know, to... Okay, okay, you know what? Explain to me then the hadith. Satan sleep in the upper nose. Give us the metaphor meaning. Let us say, let us assume there is a metaphor. What the word sleep mean as a metaphor meaning? What he mean when he says Satan sleep in your nose? Give us the explanation in your mind. It means keep your nose clean. Don't be dirty. Keep it clean. Keep yourself clean. Cleaning that. Ah, cannot he say, okay, keep your nose clean without saying Satan sleeping there? Do he need to make up a lie to, to make you clean your nose? No mind. Well, I think Satan's not going to teach us to be clean. He's going to tell us to be dirty. So be clean, man. Where is the answer? Where is the answer? Why your prophet, he did not say to them, keep your nose clean. And those people, they do whatever the prophet do. The prophet, he cleaned his butt with the three rocks. All Muslims in this time, they cleaned their ass with the three rocks. Right? <coughs> whatever they do, they do, they do. If there's, there's no need to say, Satan will sleep in your nose, your mind. Well, if he said it, there has to be some kind of wisdom. And if your small brain can reach it to it, of course it's going to go toward dirt. Because that's what human nature is. It's ever inclined toward evil. And that's what you're doing right now. What a point proof. Go ahead. Well, still, I don't, think, I don't see an answer. Why are you a prophet saying a lie? If Satan don't sleep in your nose anyway. If this is a lie, because the most important thing is, you agree that this is not a true. Satan, don't sleep in your nose. This is mean your prophet is lying. So why your prophet is lying? No mind. What's up, beauty? What's up? Righteous, your mind. Why your prophet is lying? First thing, everybody knows Satan don't sleep. Satan is... Always ready to take. So now your prophet had many lies. Number one, he's in your 
Lord knows. Number two, he sleep. Thank you very much. We found a lot of lies in one hadith of, you know, you prove it to me. The prophet is a big fat liar. This is the question. Why he is lying? You said that the Satan don't sleep. Great. The Satan cannot go in our nose. Great. This means your prophet is lying. Never mind. No. It means it's a metaphor. There is no Satan in the nose. It's a metaphor. Satan don't sleep. Quiet and clear. And you never... Metaphor? What does Satan have to do with your nose anyway? What the metaphor, man? He can say, clean your nose. What the metaphor of Satan? Tell me. Satan sleep in your nose. Tell me, what the metaphor of Satan? You have three words. Satan sleep in the upper part of your nose. And by the way, I want you to tell me about the upper part. Because the dirt, the dirt, it's not in the upper part of your nose. It's in the lower part. I think let's move to our next subject now. It's pointless. Why? Great. Thank you very much. Your prophet said, each time a Muslim he pray, Satan will take hair from his asshole. And he will not stop until he make him fart. Now, what is the metaphor meaning of Satan playing with your asshole, taking hair from your butt? Do my. How many people hear Hazrat Muhammad saying that? How many people? It's probably going to be only one. Anyone heard the Prophet saying that? Uh, he was living in the time of Muhammad? How old are you, man? What do you mean her? I can, if you want the hadith, I can show you the hadith. You want the hadith? You're mine? The way you check the authenticity of a hadith is many people heard Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him saying one hadith and many people heard it. And You see guys how Muslims are hypocrites? If one he said to us, the weak hadith is the one reported by many. For Mr. Righteousness, the, the stroke hadith is the one reported by many. <laughs> you did, Ephraim. Righteousness. Well, the hadith is reported by many. A lot of people reported that. Do you want me to show you? Oh my. First of all, do you know how the hadith was collected after how long Hazrat Muhammad passed away? Do you know that? Uh, isn't it the Quran is collected too? So what? The Quran was collected. Now listen. Do you want me to give you the hadith or not? This hadith is very painful because it's take about taking hair from your butt. Do I? Answer the question. I ask you a question. Please answer it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, I saw a rabbit walking by my my yard. <laughs> Can you repeat it again? Can you say it again? Right? This is righteousness. If you have something to me to say, say. You want to say what? The hadith is, is collected hundreds of years of, after Muhammad death. This is your this is your problem. This means you should not accept any hadith. If time will make the hadith a problem, we should reject all the hadith. Because all of them they are collected at the same time. This is mean there should be, there is no correct hadith, there is no strong hadith. All of them, they should be false because all of them, they are collected long after Muhammad's death. You know, mind. It's wrong to say we reject hadiths because of time. We reject hadiths because it's saying it's contradicting Quran. 
It's going totally against Quran, you know. Great. Show me.